to talk about how much a vital application of Australian security exchange corporate governance principles have prevented corporate collapse and other business scandals. And for this topic, we will use strategy for analysis. Before we move into the principles, we will first introduce the background of energy to you. Uh, energy was one of the world's leading energy company and the service providers selling and producing energy and uh, capacity services through its sub subsidiaries in the United States. It was founded in 1984 as Natural Gas Clearing House and changed its name to Dalgy in 1998. It was called Bill Gates of Guys in the 1990s because of its fast growth and uh, wide range of services. However, Dalgy and other energy companies, including Aaron, was accused of price manipulation and fraudulence practices in 2001. And after this case, Aaron went bankruptcy and Dalgy nearly collapsed. In order to save itself, Dalgy sold several of its subsidiaries and got enough cash to run his company and emerged from bankruptcy in 2003. But although it emerged from the bankruptcy, it has been fined $3 million and several executives were sentenced to prison for more than 10 years. And due to two successful takeover bids in 2011, Dalgy Holdings subsidiaries went back bankruptcy and Dalgy itself fell for bankruptcy protection. But luckily, the other two subsidiaries of Dalgy were unaffected by the bankruptcy of Dalgy Holdings, so it saved Dalgy from bankruptcy in the end of 2012. And finally, it emerged with Vistra Energy by 1.6 million billion in 2018. And next, we are going to talk about corporate governance principles. From what, why, and how? First, um, go corporate government principles have been defined by Australian Security Exchange Corporate Government Council as the framework of rules, relationships, systems, and processes with within and by which authority is exercised and controlled in corporations. It serves as the drivers of the performance and guide the company to be operated ethically, legally, and financially. And for why do we need the principles and how corporate company can benefit from the principles, we will analyze it through the following case of dynamic. The first principle we use here is instilling a culture of acting lawfully, ethically, and responsibly. So in this part, every listed entity is encouraged to articulate and disclose its value to senior executives and directors and employees so that they can know what kind of behavior is prohibited and what kind of behavior is expected by the company. So the most important part here is uh, organizational culture. So uh, it is the personality of the company and distinguish itself from other companies in the world. So we pick up two phases experienced by Dalgy in its history. First, during the in-year bankruptcy in 2000 and 2003, uh, the chief accounting officer assumed the company that he had been fired after he refused to manipulate the price and the financial report financial statement. So we can say that uh, the company's culture is unhealthy in this period, so that it is not weird when the company nearly bankruptcy. Uh, also, due to the two unsuccessful takeover base in 2011, the energy nearly bankrupts, uh, bankruptcy again, but luckily this time the chef executive officer noticed the problem and saved the company by changing the organizational culture. Referring to it as a corporate governance principle, um, at least the company should have the effective administration process to, to safeguard the integrity of financial reporting. Uh, in this cause, a, fa a true and fair financial report is the fundamental of a successful entity. But in our case, 
case and MNG have have many problems with the financial report uh, such as they uh, they treat their shareholder unfairly and used fictional transactions and profit to deceive the shareholders and try to gain more funds from them uh, and also they uh, uh, they fire the officer who refused to ma manipulate the financial report uh, and uh, a cost of uh, the uh, lawsuit was the uh, was filed against them in 2002. Uh, so we can conclude that the, the importance to safeguard the integrity of financial reporting uh, it can provide the decision maker by um, decision maker to unfair financial recordings uh, uh, and it also can help to improve the debt management. Uh, the, um, furthermore, uh, it will reduce the risk that the, the risk of manipulating the financial report by reconsolidate frequently. Uh, in accordance with the uh, Corporate Governance Council, uh, a listed entity should uh, establish a sound uh, risk management risk system and uh, to review its effectiveness regularly to make sure it works well. So what does it mean by this principle? Firstly, a listed entity should uh, set up an internal management risk system to assess, understand and uh, analyze all the risks of the internal or, or external potential risk. And then they need to oversee the system to guarantee its efficiency and the effectiveness of the pre of the system. So in the Dynagy's case, the fourth risk is caused by the separation of the ownership and the control. The managers are risk averse. So the decision making the decisions made made by the managers may cause the future loss which is borne by the owners. And this risk can be eliminated by monitoring the management's performance is consistent with it whether whether it is consistent with the the risk side by the board. And in the Dynagy's case, another risk can be eliminated is the incurred loss of the Irons company. Uh, if the internal management risk was well, it can do a deep study on the financial situation of Aaron's company. So here are three principles we used in our analysis. First, it is during a quarter of acting lawfully, ethically, and responsibly. And next, it is regarding the integrity of corporate reports. And finally, it is recognizing and managing risk. We also identified several ethical issues in our previous slides. So in order to avoid this kind of situation in the future, efforts should be made from following past. We can know that there is a strong bond between corporate governance and ethics. Ethical environment is supported by the good corporate governance principles. So a comprehensive code of conduct is a prerequisite for a successful organization. Therefore, it is necessary to implement corporate governance principles efficiently and effectively. But it is not, not realistic to control everything merely by regulations and laws. Personal integrity should also be taken into account. So therefore, uh, a successful organization should keep these principles in mind all the time instead of remembering when the scandal happened. So that's all for our presentation. Thank you.